Welcome to Midlands Air Ambulance Cosford Air Base for a virtual open day. It's 30 year anniversary for the charity and unfortunately we can't have you here to uh, come to the open days as we normally would. So we're just going to go through some kit and show you uh, the difference that we bring to scene and the benefits that we can bring to the patients. Since the charity started in 1991, um, things have changed about how we deliver the care. When we first started, it was very much a scoop and run a uh, double paramedic crewed resource and we used to get to scene and it was quick transport to get the patient to hospital. Since then things have developed lots and we now carry doctors on board the aircraft as well uh, and critical care paramedics so we can provide some extra knowledge, skills and equipment to scene. So I'm just going to hand over now to John Bingham, one of our doctors, uh, to talk through some of the things that we do. So there are a variety of additional skills that we can bring to a patient on the roadside above and beyond what they normally would have had from an ambulance response. And that can include things such as what we call an RSI, which is rapid sequence induction, putting somebody off to sleep, giving them an anaesthetic, putting them on a ventilator and managing their airway, which is what they would get in an emergency department or even in a, a theatre. We can do surgical procedures from the very minor from putting tubes into patients' chests which help to re-expand the lungs through to amputations and even opening somebody's chest to do surgical procedures that are more in depth. And we can provide blood products, blood transfusion to patients who are bleeding heavily. And again, this is bringing advanced clinical care that would happen in a hospital to the patient right there at the roadside or wherever they are injured. So we're just now going to discuss some of the equipment that we carry above and beyond that that would be carried on a land ambulance. So first of all, one of the examples is the mechanical CPR device, um, the Lucas. So this enables us to transport patients while we are providing ongoing CPR. Um, so in circumstances where it may be difficult to ex extricate a patient, so it's a really useful piece of equipment. One of the other pieces of equipment we carry is a syringe driver. Um, a lot of the drugs that we provide uh, are better provided in a um, infusion rather than given in one big dose. We carry a syringe driver and our things like our sedation um, can be given using utilising this piece of equipment. Very similar to what you would find in an ITU within hospital. The ventilator that we carry as well, uh, lots of the land ambulances will have a ventilator on. This is a little bit more sophisticated. This ventilator is actually the same kind of ventilator that you would have in an emergency department in hospital or in a theatre. It's a lot more advanced than just the basic ventilator that the ambulance crews would carry and allows us to breathe for patients that would have injuries that would make it more difficult with a standard machine. In addition to that we carry surgical kit and so we can use our surgical techniques to get access to the patient's heart and lungs by opening their chest on the roadside to stop something from bleeding or to repair some simple damage that actually could lead to the patient not surviving to get into a hospital or into an operating theatre. These would normally have been done in an emergency department but by then sometimes this would be too late. We can put chest tubes, so tubes into patients' chests to actually allow their lungs to expand um, and that would allow us to ventilate them on a machine and allow oxygen to get into their blood and again that could stabilise somebody to get them into a surgical environment within hospital. We carry a variety of drugs to help us with bleeding, so that may be um, drugs to help strengthen clots in the body so that when patients form a clot that that clot works really well and they don't continue to bleed and we can increase the body's own ability to maintain those blood clots by giving some salts within the body that actually help the blood to clot. Normally the patient would have to wait to get to hospital to have a blood transfusion but we can give blood on the roadside to a patient who's lost blood and again that may allow us to travel to hospital while the patient is in a much more stable position and get them to theatre. So one of the other significant benefits that we bring is obviously the speed of the aircraft itself. That's both bringing the team and the equipment and skills that we carry to scene, but also uh, in certain areas, improving the time it takes to get the patient from scene to hospital. If somebody has an uncontrollable hemorrhage, for example, getting the patient to a major trauma centre in a timely fashion will be uh, of utmost importance to their chance of survival. 
So in summary, Midlands Air Ambulance Charity can provide additional skills, equipment and drugs to complement the ambulance service care that the patient already has to help improve chances of survival and outcome and to speed up times to getting to the right hospital at the right time. Obviously to provide this service comes at a cost and that's approximately £10 million per year to cover the three aircraft that we operate along with the two critical care cars. We get no government funding for the uh, missions that we attend. This is all provided by the support that we get from you, members of the public, and for that we are extremely grateful. <laughs>